everybody. I got just a short little thing again about Gamblin's little torrid gray color. Supposedly, uh, what Gamblin is claiming is that they they make this paint from the recycled pigments from their air filtration system. So every single tube of this is different. What that means is that it has all the pigments, cadmium, cobalt, every single potentially poisonous lead, probably in this. Light fastness is questionable because it has all the colors in it. They come out with these every year. To, well, before the pandemic, they came out with these every year, usually in the spring. And these, this is one of the older batches. I can't tell you from what year this, these, I have two of them. These two are from because I got these on eBay, but this one is their most recent one. Uh, the pandemic uh, shifted things around a little, so this one came out in the fall of 2021, and I got this direct from the store. But the old ones, a couple years ago, before the state of the world as it is now, they used to have a little painting competition, um, but they stopped that. Like you see, do October 1st because they came out in the spring and they gave people time to do it for the fall. But this one came out sometime in like November, I think, and now all they have is a hashtag. So yeah, they stopped doing that little contest for because of the everything. But I just wanted to show you guys how this goes. Um, this is the 2021 version. These are from, I want to say 2018 maybe, I don't know. I got them from eBay. I marked them tube one and tube two. And I've used them a little bit for funsies. But, oh. hey, there we go. And I'm just wearing gloves because it has all the pigments, all the cadmiums and cobalt and the lead in it, probably. And like, this is just their most recent version. It's a nice little dark gray. They claim that because it's made from every tube is unique, that you can have different shades of gray in the same batch. Their promotional image has like this array of different grays all together in greens and blues and purples and you know what if what they're claiming is true that they get it from their filtration system all these little particles maybe so and someone is driving a very loud car outside thank you mystery neighbor and yeah it just looks like a regular normal gray nothing spectacular but it looks pretty stable gonna clean that off And now I'm just going to compare to a previous version. Yeah. We're going to use number one actually first. If I can open it. I should have done this before starting this recording. There we go. Took a bit. Tube number one. It's a different shade of gray. It is significantly uh, lighter in pigmentation. If you're using this for your actual painting, then who knows how it's going to look in 20 years. Because this has pigments from all over the place, and it tends a little green, this one. So parts of it could lighten and or darken differently over time than other parts of the paint, even in the same tube, supposedly. That's what I'm thinking anyway. But it's like a fun little gimmicky paint. It's interesting. It's recycling. I might have put too much white in that, but tints a little green, that one. Gonna wipe that off. Also, some people just don't like using cadmiums and cobalts, and I had another video with that with people using the cadmium free alternative to cadmium. I can't get tube number two open. Hmm. hmm. I should have made sure I can open. There we go. I am very good at making videos, as you all can see. There we go. Whoop. Crumbs. Whoop. That one's a little bit more oily than the other one, and it's been a while since I used this, as you can see. I am, yeah. Let me see if I can get that off with my gloves. Yeah, there we go. I can touch it, because I have gloves on. Okay. Whoop. I forgot a step. Here we go. A little darker in, a little darker than the other tube. 
I'm pretty sure these two might be from the same year. Tube 1 and Tube 2 might be from the same batch of sorts. That was way too much white for that, and I got white in my gloves. That's why I wear gloves to most of these videos. Uh, I'm going to see if I can use only a little bit of white so it doesn't completely drown out. Do -do -do. Someone just slammed the door in the building. Okay. Yeah, maybe a little bit more white. See how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Torrid Grey. It has all the pigments. And it has the usual linseed oil. And it's opaque, apparently. So yeah, they make it from recycled pigments, if what they're claiming is true. No health label required, even though it has all the pigments. Okay. So yeah, do what you will with those. Uh, they come out with them in the uh, fall now, I think. Um, I got an email going, hey, buy $30 of gambling paint and get this for free at Blick stores. I don't know if any other company gives the Torrid Gray out, but Blick is where I went for this one. I'm in New York City, that's where I got this batch. And yeah, but next year I am moving to somewhere else, so I won't be able to get more of these, so oh no. But yes, I might not be able to make any more videos for a bit because of said move, and I'm sure my two subscribers are very upset about that. But I will try to make more videos once I'm settled again. Goodbye! Have fun! Have some good painting time! Goodbye!